So in this video, we want to plot the curve y equals x squared. So I'm going to be substituting in the points from minus 5 up to 5, going up in 1s. Now, I'm not going to be able to plot all of these points on my graph. That's perfectly fine. It's just so that you can see what the shape of the graph is. So, if I'm substituting x equals minus 5 into this, I'm going to get y is equal to minus 5 squared. So, minus 5 times minus 5. So, because you've got two negatives, they'll multiply together and make a positive. So, minus 5 times minus 5 is 25. Then, we'll have x equals minus 4. So minus 4 times minus 4 will be positive 16. Then when x is minus 3, we're going to get minus 3 times minus 3, which is positive 9. Then we'll have minus 2 times minus 2, which is positive 4. And then minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1. Then we're going to have 0. So 0 squared is 0. And then 1 squared is 1, then 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. So what you can see here is that you've got this 0, and then 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So you actually have this symmetry in your table. And when you're drawing parabolas, this is what you should be looking out for. Parabolas are symmetric, and we're going to go through their properties in the next video. So let's use this information to plot our graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from this point here, 0, 0. So it goes through the origin. Then we have 1, 1. So 1, 1 is there. Then we have 2, 4. So 2, 4 is there. Then we have 3, 9. 3, 9 is about there. And then 4, 16 is off the grid. OK? Right, so we've gone and been able to plot those ones. Let's go back on ourselves now. So minus 1, 1. So minus 1, 1 is there. Then minus 2, 4. Minus 2, 4 is about there. Minus 3, 9. So minus 3, 9 is about there. No, slightly over. About there. Minus 3, 9. And then minus uh, 4, 16 is beyond where I can draw my graph. So what I now need to do is draw a neat curve that goes through these points. So what I think is going to be easiest is if we start at the origin, and then I'm going to try and draw the curve going through here. So I'm going to try and keep uh, my eye on the next point along. Now, that wasn't particularly good because I've got this bump in my graph there. So it's always good to try and do, do this with pencil if you can. So I'm going to have, give it another go. The problem I'm having is that the points are quite close together, like horizontally. So it's difficult to judge it. Something that's a little bit better. I'm going to try it from the other end now. OK, so trying to go through the points. It's not easy. In fact, the slower you go, often the worse it is. Sometimes it's good to just to kind of like give it a go. Now, again, my curve's a little bit bumpy there. I'm not kind of liking that that much. So I'm just going to have another go. It's a little bit better. 
It's also a little bit difficult doing it on a whiteboard as well, but it might be a little bit easier on paper because you, it's very easy to see where the next point is, but these points are quite far away. But hopefully you're going to get, you're getting the idea here that you have a curve that does this, okay, goes through the origin, um, and is symmetric as well. It has the y-axis as a line of symmetry, this curve, y equals x squared. So this is y equals x squared, and what we're going to do is we're going to investigate, in general, what do parabolas look like, where can they be located on the graph, and how can we plot some more parabolas and see how they fare.